The team thought to themselves, how can we inspire the youth to come up with creative ways of saving water and making sure that we sustain water usage and availability for future uh, generations? And then this prize was invented. Okay, so we, we, we always knew we were going to do the Envision It Prize. And the reason we we're going to do that is because we know we face challenges as a country. How do you solve those challenges? How do you empower the youth? and how do you innovate yourself out of those challenges? And with innovation comes job creation. So we're looking at a leveraged model or a geared model where we can get the biggest bang for our buck. And we thought the Envision It Prize is a great way to do that. We solve a challenge, we empower the youth, we drive innovation, and with innovation comes job creation. What could be better? In our project, we invented a cost-efficient water harvesting and irrigation system. We uh, conserve the water, we reuse it, and then we use it to um, uh, water plants. Yeah. This bursary is a great opportunity to further our education and learn even more skills, um, and then to, in the future, maybe build another system to benefit the country even more. Our project is entitled Solar Desalination. So Solar Desalination is about the purification of water using solar energy, in which the output energy of the solar panels is, is uh, I mean, it's increased by 75%, output energy increased by 75% in order to purify the water whereby uh, we decrease the atmospheric pressure in the boiling tank so that the water can be able to boil at a lower temperature and therefore 20% of the used energy in this system is recycled. When we first started the competition, the criteria was that you needed to be on a minimum between 50 to 100 litres of water a day. Your materials had to be at least 75% of them recyclable or sustainable, and your maximum cost per litre had to be 5 cents. So when we were looking at our top three, I first asked all the judges to rank them. And then from there, we had to look at who was the most cost effective, who was the one who actually yielded the most, did they actually reuse the water that they harvested? And that's really what we used to judge our winners. Let's find out who wins the awards. Ladies and gentlemen, the third prize, this learner has proven to be tenacious. This learner realized that during the prototype stage, he had to tweak his innovation and also decide to come up with another form of water harvesting. In South Africa, we have uh, um, a lot of water problems and I think that I can use this money and some of the knowledge I learned from this competition to better my project and enroll it out in more communities than um, just in my area. Okay, second prize. This learner is a pioneer. When he was prototyping his innovation, the judges were very impressed. In addition, he won the Hendrik van der Beel Special Award. Lennox Baloy! <laughs> Big thanks to Invisionit for giving us this amount of money. I'll use it better my research and continue with my project. This group of learners have shown ingenuity and are leaders in their own right. They've managed to effectively use their harvested water to yield tangible results. Um, well, I'm thinking that I'm just going to probably say it. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to say it. Um, I hope to save a lot of the money, but as well as donate to the Guardians of Hope, which is a child that's close to my house. Um, I'm also planning to save it and maybe also um, uh, go overseas and get education facilities overseas and I mean expand my knowledge of more than a country. There's no way we could turn back from this. Uh, we'd love to partner with other corporates and get more corporates involved. Um, I think we've seen the success of this story, of this challenge, and you know this is not the only challenge we face as a country. We have numerous challenges. So if we could partner with other corporates to solve other challenges we face, I think it makes South Africa just a better place to be.